Um, I'm Jeremy Smith. And Trish Jenkins. So we have a little farm, mixed vegetable farm here in Spearfish Valley, and we're kind of halfway through our sixth season here. Spearfish Valley is in western South Dakota, 12 miles from Wyoming. We're the northern Black Hills. When we started the farm, we were marketing through the farmer's market in town. And then three years ago now, we moved one of the old farm stands from down the road to the front of our place and started selling just direct from the farm. We have a pretty good crop rotation um, that we're happy with. Some of it's on a four-year rotation where it's peas and beans, corn or garlic, potatoes, and then winter squash. So that's one of our four-year rotations. And then the rest of the vegetable beds are on an eight-year rotation between families. A big part of our land management practices is we're doing uh, mixed vegetable production um, uh, using no-till methods. Um, and, and that's requiring a lot of uh, mulching and cover cropping. We're trying to have soil covered pretty much all the time. If we have gaps in the in the vegetable rows, we're trying to get cover crops in there and get living roots um, feeding the soil, so pulling carbon dioxide out of the air through photosynthesis and feeding soil microbiology, increasing our soil organic matter. I guess that's one of the reasons why we're trying to build the organic matter in the soil and keep things covered. And we're on sort of a, not too temperamental, but a little bit temperamental watering system. And if it's dry and the water's shut down, if there's like a, a line breaks or something, we don't have to stress too much about not having water back there because the soil has that resiliency to manage some dryness. There seems to be a push of matching that, like the no-till and soil health principles from bigger agriculture down to this small scale that I think a lot of new farmers or people like ourselves that didn't grow up in agriculture but that are coming to it are coming to it and seeing like the benefits of like, soil health practices and so they're trying to apply these things that have fi been figured out on big scales shrinking them down to like how do I have like arugula crops here and still not disturb the soil even though I've got tiny little seeds that I'm trying to plant. We're growing organically. Beyond that, we're trying to minimize our off-farm inputs, so as much compost and nutrients as that we can generate on-farm, we're trying to do that. And the crop rotation has helped us with nutrient cycling on the farm and making sure that we can kind of feed everybody appropriately. Yeah, and that we're not like pulling all of a certain nutrient out by having the same crop in the place over and over. Trying to get people on the farm and engaged with the local food system, I think is a, an important part of what we do. In addition to the farm stand, we also take some produce to a couple of local restaurants in town. I guess we'd say that the like, awareness of local food and support from the community has grown over the last six years. Awareness of local foods and kind of it, some of the benefits are just, just kind of starting to like snowball here. Um, so it's really exciting to kind of be here at the beginning of that and kind of watch as the local food system develops. So once in a while we get asked uh, why we're farming or why we're, we're doing this or why in Spearfish or part of it's that we both really like, like massive challenges that are like multifaceted and it's, oh, we have a friend that farms in um, New Hampshire that has a, a beautiful like quote that's um, farming's not rocket science it's a lot harder than that oh, which uh, we love so that kind of like challenge of farming but also the the idea that like we can do really good work that is beneficial in as many ways as possible so like the carbon sequestering the feeding the community the like education component the like that the farm, every aspect of it can be a positive and feel rewarding, um, I think is a lot of why we want to do it. 